Assalamu alaikum. I am your English teacher and this video is for grade 3. Today we are going to start the new topic that is continuous tense. In a continuous tense, the verb phrase indicates an ongoing or incomplete action in the past, present or future. All continuous tense are formed with the helping verb plus a main verb having an ing form. The verb phrase in the present continuous tense is formed with is, am, are. Is, am, are are helping verbs. Plus, ing form. You have to write is, am, are and base form with the ing. So, you have to add ing with the base form. The present continuous tense indicates an action that is going on at the time of speaking or writing. For example, she is jumping. Here is is the helping verb and Jump is the base form. We add ing with the base form of verb. So, the sentence is She is jumping. We are jumping. So, here are is the helping verb and we add ing with the base form of verb. I am jumping. We use M with the pronoun I and M is the helping verb and you, as you see that we can add ING with the base verb. The verb phrase in the past continuous tense is formed with was or were plus ING form. The past continuous tense indicates an action that was going on in the past. For example, she was jumping. Here was is the helping verb. We were jumping. Here, were is the helping verb and we use were with the plural pronoun or with the plural name. I was jumping. The fra word phrase in the future continuous tense is formed with will plus be plus ing the future continuous tense indicates an action that will be going on in the future or is certain to happen in the future for example they will be going to the garden here will be 
is the helping verb. I will be going with them. You can use shall with the I or you can use will as well with the pronoun I. So, I hope you understand the topic. If you have any question, you can ask in the Google Classroom. Thank you so much.